Congratulations to David Price winning his 30th professional fight, but perhaps not the way he would have liked that fight to have ended. But Johnny, the manner in which it did actually didn't really come for a surprise to you. Well, as the fight was going on, uh, uh, you saw Cash start to go back into, into sparring partner mentality, whereas, whereas he was just hoping to, to get a shot in. And I thought, knowing Cash, I think he would, he would there'd be a chance of him rather getting disqualified than actually getting knocked out. And when he got hurt, that's when he started to, to do a few dirty tricks that you do, you get away with in the gym. Uh, but these two are very familiar. It's not personally just thought, I want a way out of it. Tony, you are fiercely shaking your head. You don't agree? It's not sparta mentality. His bottle went. His bottle went, and he reversed the disgusting things that have no place in a boxing ring. He bit him not once, not twice, not even three. He bit him four times, and the referee caught him twice. He's in disgrace. Shouldn't be allowed back in a boxing ring ever again. So here's a question for you, Tony. Should he be paid for the fight? No. No, he shouldn't. Give the money to grassroots boxing, help develop amateur boxing gyms, I give just, it to these coaches. No, right, Tony. I just spoke to Rob Smith, I did, from the British Boxing Border Control, and he said his purse will be stopped for this evening. He'll take his expenses out, but his purse is definitely stopped. Some, can I and just, right as well. Some fighters will do that. Some fighters will think, I prefer to get this qualified than get some, knocked out. The referee done fantastic tonight, because he wants to throw him out the first time he let him, he caught a fight. But he didn't, he gave him the benefits of the doubt. So the referee done a fantastic job there. But he's a disgrace for what he's done. He should have, he should have been found a very fortunate to be allowed to continue. Biting a man when you're on the floor, there isn't really many lower things in life, never mind the boxing ring. Well, you, know, you know what, I think, Tony, you probably said it instinctively. You, you do what you do to survive. And I he's know done that Johnny, to the I spot Tony out of him. He just wanted out because he's thinking he got hit with a shot and he wobbled a little but bit Johnny, and he thought, I want out of here. But Johnny, that, he did that. He, he actually bit something. Yeah. Off. Right, OK. And first spin stop. So how do you come back from that? You, you, you don't. Reputation? You don't. It's your reputation. It's, it's hard. You don't. I could never see boxing in Liverpool again. Uh, I just couldn't see that happening. And, and doing that, I don't know. I don't know how he'll explain his way out of that. I, I don't know how he'll justify it. There's no justification for it. But but as the fight was rolling, I said, this guy is, is going to prefer to get disqualified than get knocked out. For David Price, though, he says he wasn't necessarily happy with his performance. He was winning despite how the fight, yeah. fight ended. What's the winner of Dave Allen Nugas Brown? Would that be a good match in your eyes, do you think? Of course, you know. I, I think Dave Allen probably beats Nugas Brown. And Dave, Dave Allen's greatest asset in his armory is his durability. And everybody knows if you last more than five or six rounds to pick David Price, you're going to have a little bit of success in them in them later rounds. So it's a fascinating match of Dave Allen and David Price. David tonight, he's his own worst critic. Yes, he didn't promote to the ability and the level that he sees himself at, but he's got the win, so, you know, what more can you do? So, what would you like to have seen in John Carl? Well, I think he started well, and he was keeping, he was keeping Cash Ali on, but then he let it back into the fight, but I think that's, that's why I was surprised that Ali, mind you, he did get caught. Cash Ali got caught, he was wobbled, and out of frustration, he then bit him. And I agree with Tony, it's disgraceful, he doesn't belong in the ring. He's had his purse stopped, and he might be getting banned after the hearing, so we'll see. David Price, I think, needed to step in and, and start to work more, and he, he looked like he was going to get the stoppage, so it was a decent performance. Just around that time, David started to, to, to get clipped a little bit by Cash Ali, I thought, what are you doing, David? You're letting him in close. You're letting him get a little bit of confidence, letting his confidence grow. Fortunately, that, that happened. But if it had gone one or two more rounds, I wonder how David would have held up to it because we, we spotted that in the, as the rounds went on. As you're saying, the, the, mental, the, the mental fragility of, of the man was exposed in cash. Yeah. Now, I know cash. I've sparred many rounds of him. Never done anything like that in the gym before. But he's been antagonising David all week. And it's like little mental pokes, little mental pokes. He's the guy who completely lost it mentally there tonight. So that shows David Price can stick doing what he's doing. Not a great performance, but getting the job done. Cash Allen needs banning for a long time. All right, well, a win nonetheless for David Price there. Right.